Comment on the video right now who you guys think is the best player in the NBA today. A lot of people think it's this man right here, the reigning finals MVP, Kawhi Leonard. Now, Kawhi's got a great case to be the best player in the world right now. I mean, he led the Raptors to the championship, won the finals MVP. He's a well-rounded player. He can score the ball inside, outside, consistent free throw shooter, great defender, rebounds the ball. He's a really well-rounded player. And those well-rounded players are the hardest to create in NBA 2K because the My Player system limits you. But I think we found a really good build. Now, shout out to my boy Cloudy for letting me use his account. Check out this player build, how well-rounded it is. So it's a 6'7", three-level score with lockdown takeover, which I feel like fits Kawhi. He's got great driving layup, driving dunk. Like I said, the free throw, the three-point, the mid-range is all really good. Now look at 69 ball control. This is at 99, so... At 99.9, he would get another plus one. He would go up to 70 ball handling, which would unlock the pro dribble moves, give him the good hesitation, the good behind the back, which that really makes a difference in how your player performs. And then the defensive stats, I mean, interior defense, perimeter defense, lateral quickness, steal, block, offensive rebound, defensive rebounds. It's all really, really solid. And again, you're going to get another plus one at 99.9. Now the badges, only four finishing, but... I still feel like he finishes inside pretty well, especially, you know, his driving dunk is high enough that you get park dunks, which is nice, you know, a nice athleticism boost. But as you can see, the badges that we're rocking, got a bunch of bronze badges on and then two Hall of Fames, you know, gold green machine, gold hot zone hunter. Build shoots really, really consistently, honestly. You're going to see in this gameplay against this elite one, like we're just smacking from two, three feet behind the, uh, behind the three point line. It's crazy. Now, only three playmaking badges. So I put them all on quick first step because... I'm ISOing. You guys know how I do with these NBA player videos. I ISO almost the whole game, no matter what the build. And then the defensive badges. I mean, obviously, you could you could put them on however you want. But I got that Hall of Fame clamps, Hall of Fame pickpocket. Put on box and rebound chaser on bronze because we're playing on the twos. But yeah, so 99 overall Kawhi Leonard video. Let's get right into this. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. Please drop a like, subscribe if you guys are new. And let's get it. Now, for all my sneaker heads out there, I know I don't have Kawhi's new balances on. But listen... In NBA 2K20, they don't have new balances in the game, so Kawhi shoes are not in the game. So I just threw on some Jordans. It is what it is. I'm sorry. I know some people really, really care that I put the correct shoes on my players. I would have, but I didn't find them in the game. But check this out. Elite 1, pure shot creator versus 99 overall Kawhi Leonard. My first gameplay for you guys. We're not playing any games. We're going straight into the comp games. And when I tell you this dude is a cheeser, you're going to see what I'm talking about. If anyone watched the wagers that Tysina was playing, you know what I'm talking about. But you see our lineup, basically it's double locks, but I mean, I'm a three-level scorer. I got a lot of offense, so I just have the lock takeover because I want it to be Kawhi. You know, it is what it is. I'm sorry, double locks. Yeah, we're toxic, whatever. But look it. The whole game, this is all it is. Me trying to defend this dude spamming hesitation behind the back, hesitation behind the back. Shoots a big white, he makes it. Listen, I'm not saying like... I understand it's in the game, but this is, if you watch the wagers or if you watch this kid play, this is literally what 2K20 has become. Here's Hall of Fame brick wall, hesitation, run to the right, or hesitation, go behind the back, hesitation, go behind the back. Listen, I mean, it's in the game, but to me, it's a really, really boring play style. It is effective. Don't get me wrong. Like, obviously, I'm going to get caught on the screen eventually. You just keep spamming it side to side, but I mean... Damn, man, it is, look at it. Like, this is what 2K's become? It's like, I have to just guess. Is he going to hesitate and run to the right? Or is he going to just hesitate and then go behind the back to the left? And then do the same thing on the other side. But it is what it is. Check it out. Dot, top of the key, big white, but we get it to go. All right, so 6-3. I feel like we played pretty good D. That behind the back, you guys, if anyone plays this game, you guys know that behind the back is crazy hard to guard. But check it out. Like I said, we're running all ISO ball. This shot creator is going to have to guard Kawhi one-on-one. -on -one. And just like Kawhi in real life, he has become a really, really, not only good, but efficient offensive player. Look, this is out of the triple threat. Jab, jab, waiting for him to bite, get inside, let him jump, going for the lay-in. Kawhi has become one of the most efficient offensive players in the game. The amount of improvement he has made since he came into the league offensively is crazy. He's always been a pretty good defender and rebounder, but his offensive game has just gone to a whole new level. You know, with you know, every season he has improved his offensive game and it's gotten to the point now where like he's almost unstoppable offensively. We saw it in the playoffs last year, NBA finals, all that stuff. Like he's a tough he's a tough guard. 
And even in the game right here, as you can see, the center starting to help because I've been cooking this elite one shot creator. The center feels like he's got to help. He's starting to hedge. I hit the dot to the corner. That's kind of fitting because Kawhi's improved his passing a lot this season too. But check it out. Out of the triple threat again. Go into the post. Get him to jump. Draw the double team. Kick it out. Wide open in the corner. That's green yet again. So 13 to 6 on this elite one. Now shot clock's winding down. 6-5. I got to force something up. He ends up getting the stop. So they go back to the bread and butter. I get stuck on the screen. I got to switch down to the big. I'm in the passing lane. I'm waiting for the pass. And I just can't get the steal. Big man gets the easy lay in over me. But back again, I told you, this is what this is all it is. Behind the back, behind the back, Hezzy, behind the back. I'm trying to fight over screens. I got to deal with all this. Look at the defense. Kawhi is boxing him up. Shot clock, six, five, four. Hezzy, get caught on the screen. We switch it. I get the box out on the big man. We get the rebound. We get the ball back. 13 to 8, man. It is tough guarding that strategy, man. Drive in, get the right hand dunk. It's tough guarding that strategy. The spam of the hezzies, the behind the backs and the screens, it is super duper overpowered. But check it out. I go to the post fade, can't get it to go. I'm playing the lanes, get the steal, run around them, throw it down to my teammate. I'm gonna be patient, reset, kick out, wide open three. I told you this build shoots consistent consistent three-pointers man that puts us up 18 to 8 he's playing too far back from limitless that's green 99 overall Kawhi Leonard dropping off the elite one pure shot creator here in our first gameplay man please drop a like on the video if you haven't already let's get into gameplay number two so gameplay number two, they got a little bit of a different lineup. So, you know, they're playing a little bit of a different strategy here. But, you know, we start with the ball. So as long as we don't give it up, we don't even have to worry about their offensive strategy. But let's talk about Kawhi for a second. Kawhi is having a great season. Now, recently, he's been criticized a lot for load management. People, you know, I understand from the fans point of view, right? If you pay $400 to go see the Clippers play, you're expecting to see Kawhi Leonard. You're not trying to go see, you know, a Kawhi-less Clippers team that you spent $400 on tickets. I I get that. But at the same time, we got to look at it from their perspective and their ultimate goal is to win the championship. I mean, it paid off for the Raptors last year. Kawhi missed like 22, 24 games, something like that last season. And it ended up paying off that he was relatively healthy. I think he was still kind of dealing with some stuff in the playoffs, they were saying. But he was healthy enough to go on a run, average 30 a game and win the championship. So they'll take that, right? There's always two sides to everything that, you know, in this, in this case, there's the basketball side, but the entertainment side, you know, the financial situations for both ends. I get it. I, I don't really know what the solution is. That's up to the league. They're going to have to decide. But in terms of Kawhi as a player, man, I don't think we've ever seen a player improve as much as Kawhi has over the course of his career. Kawhi wasn't looked at as somebody that potentially one day could be the best player in the NBA. He was looked at as a solid like role player that was a defender. And he just, every year, he just got better and better and better. Even by the time they won the championship when he was in San Antonio, right? And, you know, he was the finals MVP. He was still essentially a role player on that team. In that finals, he averaged 17 a game. That's not something typically the finals MVP averages. Obviously, he got it for his defense. You know, he kind of was able to slow LeBron down and hold him. And I use that term loosely, hold him to 27, like 9 and 8 or something like that. But... To go from basically a role player on a championship team, nonetheless, but a role player to arguably the best player in the game? I mean, that's that's a hell of an improvement, and he deserves a lot of credit for that. A lot of people feel just what he did last season solidified him as the best player in the world. I mean, nobody really thought when he went to Toronto they were actually going to go on and win the title. You know, he beat the MVP of the league in the playoffs. You know, he beat Giannis in the playoffs. And then obviously knocking off the Warriors in the finals. Despite, obviously, we all know the Warriors were very, very injury plagued. Obviously, KD, Clay, et cetera, et cetera. But he still got the job done and he won the championship. And that, at the end of the day, is what matters the most. So you got to give him, you got to give him respect for that. Now, whether you think he's the best player in the world, I mean, some people would argue Kawhi. Some people would argue uh, Giannis, obviously Kevin Durant, but he's out this season. So it's kind of tough. It's kind of tough to say KD right now. Some people would say LeBron. But right now, anytime you're talking about best player in the world, you have to put Kawhi in that sentence, whether you think he is or not. He is up there, obviously, as one of the best players in the game. But check it out, man. This three level scorer build, six foot seven. The wingspan is great. The defense is great. The offensive ability is great. I mean, you see us out here, we're isoing. And like I said, when you hit 99.9, .9, which he's not, we're only, I think it was like 
99.1 or something when I was on it. You get that plus, you get another plus one at 99.9. That's going to give you the 70 ball control. That's going to give you the better dribble moves. I mean, basically, I'm out here. I'm out here isoing on a lockdown, basically. Like, I have lock takeover. I don't have sharp or shot create or anything like that. I got lock takeover out here isoing. That's how well-rounded this build is. You give a you give this build the pro dribble moves, and he is going to be a problem. I mean, he finishes inside well. He shoots the three well. He can score in the post. His defense is crazy. It really is a great Kawhi Leonard build, man. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Please drop a like. Subscribe if you guys are new. I'll see you all in the next video. I'm out. Peace.